My name is Chris Williams, I'm the Managing Director of HI Fraser. Um, we're a 60 year old Australian company that has workshops in Sydney and Perth. Um, we were started by Huey and Fraser about 60 years ago in Tasmania um, and we've grown to be a, um, a manu advanced manufacturing and um, complex service delivery company. Essentially what we do is for a major asset, mostly in the marine space, about 80% of that asset is looked after by the big guys, so BAE, Talus in the defence space, Woodside, Chevron, BHP Petroleum in the offshore oil and gas space. We focus on the 20% of systems that are niche and difficult and we can either, our, our, our mantra is, we'll either make the bit or we'll find it. So essentially the, the value proposition is that quite often a lot of those major assets have been designed overseas, whether it's an oil rig, um, a floating asset, a cruise liner, a warship or a submarine, they've been designed overseas and they come to Australia with a unique supply chain. Um, what we do is because we've got that manufacturing ability, we can respond very quickly to um, manufacturing requests. We can also respond very quickly because we have a number of relationships with small companies the same size as us around the world. HI Fraser remains competitive because we've got a technical edge. We're not competing on efficiency, we're competing on intellectual property and ideas. If you want efficiency, I mean, competing against that, go to Korea, India, China. So we can't compete with those guys on large volumes of commodity stuff. Where we can compete is on small volumes of very smart little bits. That's what we do very well. We've actually re reinvented the business a number of times over the last 20 years. Um, and it's very much driven by the marketplace and by the customer. So 30 years ago during the Anzac program, the Collins program, the Mine Hunters, about 20 years ago, um, those programs were very high on Australian industry content. And there was almost reverse auctions where those builders to hit the Australian content were saying, how much will it cost to make this bit? We then had a period of time we bought a number of assets off the shelf in the defence space. So we bought air warfare destroyers, LHDs off the shelf, um, Abrams tanks off the shelf. Um, and so the opportunities were limited unless you could break into those supply chains. Advanced manufacturing and Australian industry relies on meaningful work. So if there's meaningful work, companies will invest and they'll train and they'll do these things. Without meaningful work, then you can do a whole bunch of activities, but why? And you'll find it difficult to get industry to co-invest. So in a lot of cases, we're actually waiting for the next tranche of oil and gas and defence projects to be announced. You know, OPVs 2018, frigates, submarines, um, JSF maintenance, um, and then there's all the oil and gas programs. But they're in the 2020 to 2024 timeframe before any meaningful work filters through to the tier three, tier four companies like ourselves. So we had um, Minister Pine and our local member Jason Flinsky visit us a couple of months ago after we'd manufactured our one millionth coupling for the Collins Class Submarine Program. Um, it's a really nice example of Australian industry being involved in the build program, then being part of the through life solution so that now Collins Class Submarines can't go to sea without HI Fraser couplings. No couplings, submarine doesn't sail.